Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SPR contributor Jordan Sharp and today we're taking a look at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the New York Giants and the Tennessee Titans. How you doing today Jordan? I'm doing great Dax, thanks man. Alrighty dude, so lines makers opened this one up as a pick em. but since then the Giants are getting the love at minus one with only a few books keeping the pick em line. Now the Giants lost against the Jaguars 24 to 25 and the Titans, well they lost against the Texans 21 to 45. Now, the Giants come into this game with a 3-9 and nine straight up record and a 4-8 and eight against the spread. Titans don't, don't get even better. I mean, they're 2-10 and 10 straight up and 3-8-1 and one against the spread. This is really a tough game, dude. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to look at right now. I mean, the Giants, you know, they might come up, they might show up. But, you, you know, we said that last week against the Jaguars, too, that we, we expected them to show up a little bit in this case, but they really didn't. And as for the Titans, I think they're going back to Jake Locker, right, man? Yeah, I think Mettenberger got hurt last week. So, yeah, that's 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 another thing to keep in mind for this game. And, and you're right, it's just so close of a spread against two teams that are pretty bad this season. So you really can't trust either of them too much. But, you know, I guess if I had to play this game, I think the Giants would be the play just because you can't imagine them being as bad against Tennessee, especially with Locker potentially um, coming into the fold. But then again, I mean, you know, maybe a better bet would be the over because both defenses aren't that good. But then again, do you trust either offense right now? So I just feel you know, all these scenarios just kind of roll in my head. It just gives me a, a, a red light with this game. You know, just so many games on the slate this week. No more bye weeks, four weeks to go for the regular season. And, you know, we don't need to be really wasting money on games we're unsure of. And I think this is a prime example of that. Do you, can you see any value in either of the line? The lines at, uh, you know, minus one mostly in favor of the Giants and then around 46, you know, for the total. So I really can't find value in either of those lines right now. Can you? Maybe the under, dude. I mean, I think that they could actually keep it low, you know, considering all those factors that we got two teams that really don't have much going for them. Uh, offensively, the Titans are going to start with another quarterback, which was the initial plan uh, at, the, at the very beginning of the year. Uh, obviously, Locker got injured, and that's when Mettenberger standed, uh, stepped in. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's just odd to actually see the Giants in this actual turmoil. I mean, you, you don't expect to see a team like them, you know, struggling like this, and especially losing against the Jaguars. I mean, they gave them their second win of the season. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I'd like the under in this case just because of the fact that I don't believe that either offense can get anything going. And, you know, the defenses, yeah, they're, they're shaky as well. But, you know, if there's no offense, then who's going to be making the points? The defenses, maybe? Yeah, that's not actually a bad that's not actually a bad point. I really hadn't thought about that until then. But looking at kind of some numbers here a little bit deeper, the under, you know, doesn't seem like a bad play. I, I, I could probably – uh, you, you, you talk me into it. I can definitely get behind the under. I think you're, you're right with, with it. I think it really boils down to locker starting. But the only thing that kind of just holds me back from it, I think, from it being a good play, you know, just as, as more than just an average play, which is what I think it is, yeah. is that, you know, there, there's a chance that because, but because both of these defenses are so bad, um, and I think with also with the fact that I think the Giants could have the potential to turn it around, you know, at any given moment. Uh, you're looking at uh, you're looking at a, a, not a great play, but then again, you know, I think about it even more. Rashad Jennings might not be playing in this game. He's hurt again. You know, for the Giants, they could go back to Andre Williams, who really hasn't shown much in the running game, and they've shown that if they can't run the ball, they really can't get anything going to begin with. So, uh, you know, I, I, under under, I could get behind that play. I think especially because it's the line has gone up from 45 to 46. I think you're getting more value as well. So there's that's something to look at as entirely. But other than that, yeah, no value in this game other than a potential underplay. All right, yeah, man. And like you said, I mean, there's a lot more other games there that uh, sound a little bit more interesting. So save up your money and uh, hold them for then. And anyways, man, as always, it's a pleasure talking football with you. And uh, let's do this again next week. All right. Thanks, Dax. No problem. Man. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review 